Whatever you want to talk about. Open carry in general, how do you think things are going in Wisconsin with the open carry movement? Say that again, I can hear you. How, how do you think things are going in Wisconsin with the open carry movement? You know, all it's these interesting. Events? I think uh, last year after the Attorney General memo, I, I think uh, there was a lot of news coverage. And, and uh, I've even, it's been an eye-opening uh, situation for me over the past couple of months because I had thought that everybody was aware that open carry was legal. And, you know, here this event today, there's a lot of people here today that didn't know that open carry was legal. So I do think that there's still a lot of, uh, still a lot of uh, awareness that needs to be raised, um, mm -hmm. which, is, which is different than I thought two months ago. Two months ago, I thought people were really aware of it. It's just time for people to just go about their daily business, carrying, exercising mm -hmm. their rights like they're like they're uh, like they would desire to. But uh, but I do think you know after uh, there was a story in the James Book Gazette a few weeks ago, and a lot of people weren't aware that open carry was legal, evidenced by the comments to that story. Mm -hmm. And uh, same thing today. There's people that came here today that weren't aware open carry was legal. So you know, it was a good event today. We have a lot of people here and a lot of people carrying for the first time. And uh, so it is, I think there's still a lot to do as far as awareness goes in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and even in states that have uh, concealed carry law, um, pretty much every other state except Illinois and Wisconsin, I think there's a lot of people in those states that, that don't even realize the concealed carry law. But with the open carry movement nationwide, I, I think it it really grabs people more. You know, being able to visibly see it, and you know, it, it just it. Um, I, I don't know. I, I'd say it just it, it puts it out there, yeah. out there in the public well, I think, more. And, and what I've, I like to share, you know, when I with the media in Milwaukee, when I do interviews and stuff, is that you know, there's mothers, fathers, doctors, lawyers, blue collar, white collar that carry on a daily basis. In other states where there's concealed carry, you might not even be aware of it. But that's the wonder of open carry is that uh, it does let people know that that, uh, that good guys carry guns too. And I think that's a real important thing for people to understand. Um, housewives, mothers, um, you know, there's nobody, no segment of the, no demographic of the population that doesn't carry. And you could look around today, or you could look around at, uh, you know, people states that have permit systems and, and what those people do for a living. Um, everybody wants that right to carry. Everybody exercises it. It's not limited to, to 18 to 25 year old males or, or anything like that. It's really universal. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And um, and and Wisconsin uh, Wisconsin carries official stance on open versus concealed. If, if, could you explain that to our sure. viewers? We believe that people have the right to carry in the manner they're choosing. So whether, and people could debate all day long whether open carry is better than concealed carry, but the reality is that as a law-abiding citizen, it's your choice. So if you don't want people to know you're carrying, if you're a law-abiding citizen, we believe that's your choice. And we don't advocate for open or concealed carry, other than, of course, right now in Wisconsin, open carry is legal and concealed carry isn't. So we advocate that people follow the law. But as a matter of principle, um, open carry or concealed carry, that's a choice that people should make based upon what suits their needs best. Um, if they're going in, uh, in a very uh, uh, high crime area where they um, would worry that their gun would be a potential target for criminals because it's an expensive thing, just like an expensive watch, um, they would prefer to conceal carry. That's their choice to make based upon their situation, their surroundings, where they're going to go. Um, mm -hmm. If I'm at Summerfest in Milwaukee, not a situation where you want to be open carrying because it's a tight situation, crowds are close, mm -hmm. but a great place to conceal carry. People have been assaulted leaving Summerfest, so you need to be, there's an opportunity to self for self-defense there, mm -hmm. but not a place where you'd want to open carry because of the crowds. So uh, the decision to carry open or concealed is something that a law-abiding citizen should make, and it's their choice, not the government's. Yeah, yeah and, I, and I'd say, um, you know, especially like in the in the summer when, when you're wearing t-shirts, um, uh, you know, shorts. A lot of times, it's it's easier and more convenient, um, yeah. it, you know, for a situation a, to open carry. There's a practical ability as well. I mean, during the winter when it's cold and you have a big jacket on, it's difficult to open to conceal. Excuse me, difficult to open carry in the winter. In the summer when it's hot and uh, you don't want to, you know, print in your t-shirt and you've only got jeans and a t-shirt on, the choice would be either to then go unarmed or to open carry. And if you can't open carry. People in, I know there's people in southern states that have the ability to conceal carry, and they're really uh, uh, demanding the right to open carry because in the summer that's the most practical way for them to carry. So there's so many reasons beyond the fact that it's a law-abiding citizen's choice about what suits them best. There's that practical manner as well. In Wisconsin in the winter, you're going to want to be able to throw a jacket on and go concealed sometimes, and then get to a store, take your jacket off, and you're going to be open carrying. So it's really, uh, there's a practical manner as well. Yeah, and then um, and then concealed carry also, um, um, it's a it's a it's a very good thing um, for the deterrent effect because that way you know if like right now in Wisconsin um, you can only open carry so so a criminal is going to know if if you're not carrying right. if they don't see it right. so in, if if once once concealed carry comes anyone could be armed and and you don't know and that and that's where the crime 
Yeah, I mean that's real important because, like you say, if right now if you're not if you're not openly carrying, a criminal would see that that's you're an easy target because if you were carrying, you'd be doing it openly. Um, so it's important that uh, criminals not know who's armed and who's not. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, um, how do you feel about Constitution carry and and Wisconsin um, maybe possibly? You know, we, we don't know what what will happen, but um, the possibility of of allowing people that just like just like now with open carry, you don't need a license or a permit or training as long as you are legally qualified to possess a gun, to own a gun, and to possess a gun, um, then you know you don't need to get a permit or ask ask anyone to be able to exercise that fundamental right. Um, so what do you, how do you feel about the possibility of, of, work, of Wisconsin becoming the next state to, yeah. to allow either, you know, to, to make that choice yep. be a I personal think, uh, choice? I think the odds are, I think Wisconsin is well positioned. Um, the Wisconsin Republican Party platform changed this year uh, to take the word permit out of their mission or out of their platform. So instead of saying that they support the permit to carry, they just support the right to carry. So uh, that's an important change that the Republican, Wisconsin Republican Party changed their platform to acknowledge that fact that it's not a permit, it's a right to carry. Um, I actually don't even like the words constitution carry because it's a human right to self-defense. It's a human right to carry. So the fact that our Constitution recognizes that is great, but the right actually supersedes the Constitution. So there's a human right to carry, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a pre as the as the Supreme Court said in McDonald, it's a pre-existing. Yeah. It existed before the Constitution. And it's it fundamental. Come, yep. They said as well. So I think uh, you know, I think uh, sometimes I'm more optimistic than others that Wisconsin uh, can get uh, non-permit right to carry. Um, I do think that the Republican Party changing that platform was an important step. Um, I think that it's really going to be up to um, people, um, and not even a large number, but people to contact their legislators, uh, because those are the people that are going to be uh, writing, drafting, amending, voting on what specific uh, parameters of uh, the next, uh, whether it be a concealed carry bill or a repeal of 941.23, which is the prohibition against concealed carry. Uh, those are the people, if they're going to wait till it gets to the governor's desk, they might not like what, what comes there, so it's important to contact your local assemblymen, your local state senators. Mm -hmm. let, let me ask you this now if if Wisconsin did become the next state to allow people to to conceal carry how would that affect who can carry compared to right now would that would that enable any new people to carry or would it just change the, the, the way they choose to carry um, yeah right now I mean felons are prohibited from owning and possessing firearms and people with uh, you know mental handicaps and and uh, you know other psychological problems so uh, repealing 941.23 wouldn't change anything I mean people that are allowed to open carry would be allowed to conceal carry um, felons would still be barred from owning possessing and carrying firearms um, it would still be against the law to you know take them into uh, courthouses and things like that but uh, but law-abiding citizens would have the practical ability to carry just like they do now, but choose to do it concealed. Okay. Well, thanks a lot, Nick. Thanks, Nick Sean. Clark from Wisconsin Carry on iCarry TV. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Sean. <laughs>